Hi, this is Dave from ERC, and today I'm really small because I'm trying to fit this wing into the picture. Yes, today we're going to be building the wing for the FD Legacy RC plane, and also working on the nacelles right here, and making this splitter cable for the power for the ESCs. So let's get started. Okay, now it's time to build the main wing. We need these three pieces of foam board. Two of them are just the wing, the left and right wing, so we'll need to punch those out. And then the third one, we want to get the spars out. We don't need to get the flaps out right now, but we do need to get the three spar pieces, the main spar and then the two shorter left and right ones. Preparing the spars. So just going along the lines that I need to bend, not cutting all the way through. Okay, and now I'll just do the other two here. Okay, so we want to put glue along the foam on the outer piece. Let's put a good bead of glue. And it's going to go A on top. So like this. Just try to get a 90 degree bend if possible. All right, so those are done. Getting ready to weed out the material in this trough and the wing so we can make the fold over or the C fold. So I'm just gonna take the back edge of the knife and go along and make sure there's no foam in there. Now fold this back and we'll just pry off this material as usual. Gonna have it go all the way over so we want to put glue along the top of it right here and a little bit in the trough and then try to get it to lay flat like this so let's go ahead and do that on both wings Okay, now that we got that done, we've got to go ahead and do the double bevel. The double bevel. It's hard to say and it's hard to do. What Josh Bixler recommends is do it along the edge of a table. Alright, it doesn't hurt to take something round and just go over this. I'm using the old motor that I had right here. Just going down that. Okay, I mentioned earlier, if you don't cut out the holes for the nacelles, you'll regret it because once you make the wing, there are no markings on the other side to judge where the nacelle goes. So now it's time to cut them out. I've got the packing tape here and that means it's time to tape the two wing sections together. Now as usual I'm just putting weight out here to hold the two pieces in place while I tape it. Okay just gonna go ahead and flip it over now. And what we want to do is put some glue in this groove right here and then lay it down flat. All right, now let's just flip the wing around here. And we're gonna work on laying out our spars. One spar goes in the middle, and there's some lines here to line it up. Also, some marks where the end points go. But it's pretty easy to tell, cause uh, there's actually a hole right here, and that's gotta line up with the hole in the wing right there, the servo hole. So get those lined up, 
Same thing on the other end. So that's pretty much all there is to it. We're going to begin by forming the wing. So, first thing we'll do is just bend it over and try to make sure it meets the edge of the table here. All right, so now, first thing we want to do is we want to run some glue along this line that is not going to contact the spar. Let's see where that's going to be. Okay, that's actually this inner line here. All right, now this is going to be a quick one. Just, just down and up. Don't let it glue to the spar. Just going down and up so it doesn't glue to the spar. Now that that's done, we want to go ahead and glue in our, I guess you would call these reinforcements, just to keep the wing from breaking in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these up and put them on there. And after that, we can go ahead and start gluing our wing down. Okay, the trailing edge is important. So we'll probably glue that one, you know, put the glue on there last. So it's the hottest when I bring down the, the wing to it. Let's check our fit one more time. All right, let's flip it over and just see what we got. But overall, I'm pretty impressed that it went down that good. I think we can go ahead and cut out these two punch outs right here. Now we got to punch out all the pieces for the nacelles right here. There's a nacelle plate for the bottom too. Two plates and two nacelles. And then you got your mini power modules, mini power pods over here. So all of this has to get punched out. All right, so next I just have to clean the foam out of all these channels where we're going to do the folds. Okay, so let's start gluing up the mini power pods and the nacelles and the bottoms right here. Okay, now we gotta trim the nacelles and get them even so that they come out even right along here. All right. 
So that's all of that stuff. I think, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go ahead and paint the wing too. Give it a coat of paint before I do this. This is actually Krylon Fusion All-in-One Paint Primer. And it's a gloss sunbeam is what I've been using. And it says, any angle, any surface. Okay, getting ready to make the Y splitter for the power to the motors, which installs in the wing. So what I have is two pieces, black and red, that are 21 inches long. These are 21 inches. And two pieces, black and red, that are 6 inches. And that's to tap off the middle. The size of the wire. So the size of the wire is 14 AWG silicon wire and it says 200 degrees C on it. Then we need two XT60s like this and one like this. Okay, and then I've got two pieces of 3 16 heat shrink. Now, when I tap into the middle, I won't be able to put heat shrink on it, so I'm going to be using liquid tape instead to cover up the bare connections. Okay, just double checking to see that the end I just did fits onto the ESC, and it does right there. So now I'm going to do the other end the same way. Okay, I got the pigtail soldered on there now. And now I just need to cover it with the liquid electrical tape and maybe some regular electric tape too. Okay, liquid electrical tape is drying. Okay, now that the wing and the fuselage are painted, we can finish installing the electronics. But this video is getting kind of long, so I'll do that next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you see that upcoming content. Thanks for watching.